another unstoppable force could be coming to the MCU in the form of Kane Marco, aka the Juggernaut, who will bring the arsenal of abilities in his possession with him, ones that should not be scoffed at, especially since he is probably an even bigger threat than Thanos without the Infinity Stones and the likes of Thor or even the Hulk when the brute physical strength is taken into consideration. Some things that will blow your mind for sure. Mutants are not a secret anymore. In Marvel's notion of bringing them into the MCU, we have already witnessed their presence in the form of Kamala Khan, who is said to have mutant genes in the closing minutes of the Miss Marvel Disney Plus series. Then there is the Wolverine Factor, a character who will make his debut in the MCU through the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie, with none other than Hugh Jackman returning for the role. Another real mutant sighting, or should I say X-Men sighting, was Professor X in the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie, where he was a member of the Illuminati group from Earth 838, a place where Doctor Strange and America Chavez stumbled upon. Putting all of that aside and all the past mutant appearances, there seems to be a whole lot of new heroes coming to the MCU during the remaining time of the so-called multiverse saga, aka Phase 5 and Phase 6 of the MCU. And what are the heroes going to do if there aren't any villains or bad guys to defeat and save the world, right? Well, this is the place where Kane Marco, aka the Juggernaut, can probably come in as one of the strongest foes connected to the X-Men and the entire mutant kind as well. A villain that is so powerful that many heroes outside of the X-Men would be needed to stop him, or even make him turn on the good side of the world. And if this is the case, and this is the thing that you want to see happen, I might have an idea as to how that might happen. But also, what are some of the things about the Juggernaut that could blow your mind, even before seeing him in the MCU? So far, there have been two possible connections between the Juggernaut and the MCU. First, a Doctor Strange connection, something I will talk about a little bit further down the line. And second, through the upcoming Captain America New World Order movie, which according to my educated guess could be the real deal. Let me explain. The title itself has seen a reference in the MCU, in the second Captain America movie from the side of Arnim Zola and the Hydra plans, and taking into consideration the same title that was used in the comics, there is a high chance for us to see the return of the Red Skull, and with him, one of the most loyal henchmen at the time of the particular storyline, the Juggernaut, who stood alongside the Red Skull in his plans to cause enough chaos in the world in order for the so-called New World Order to take place and let Hydra run things around the world. This is one way in which the Juggernaut's debut could come through, and it would fit the character very well, with us getting a similar iteration of the character as the one that we saw in the second Deadpool movie. A villain capable of inflicting an enormous amount of damage, a lot of muscle that is used by someone as a weapon in an attempt to take over the world. Plus, with the Thunderbolts coming, it is clear that there is already a plan in place to put MCU villains in the spotlight and someone like Juggernaut could help with that trend in the Captain America New World Order movie. Juggernaut would be there to wreak havoc and hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in reality, he would be there to smash his way through anything, helping his master at the time to accomplish his vision. Plus, if this happens to be true, then we could also see the signature all red costume the Juggernaut is known by in the comics. The Juggernaut will probably blow your mind solely because of the arsenal he possesses, from brute force, increased strength and durability, all the way to how he uses the powers that he has in the given situation. But for that, you will have to wait as I have an interesting theory that connects Stephen Strange to this menace of a character. I'm gonna rip you in half now. <laughs> that is such a juggernaut thing to say. Oh, 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 oh. Much like all the other movies and TV shows from Marvel Studios, there are Easter eggs laid around everywhere, and the Doctor Strange sequel was no exception from this, as we got to see the big ribbon-like demon made of red and black bands, the same being that gave the powers Juggernaut has in the comics. The creature's name was also used in the first Doctor Strange movie, when Strange used the bands of Sidorak to restrain Cassilis. And during Avengers Infinity War, when the heroes fought Thanos on planet Titan, where Doctor Strange harnessed this creature's power through a spell called the Bands of Sidorak. The numerous mentions of this creature's name and the spells used in his name might suggest that the Juggernaut is ever close to the MCU, seeing how it is the power source of Kane Marco in the first place. So with everything in mind, just how powerful is the Juggernaut exactly? Well, to start things off, 
he could potentially be even stronger than Thanos. Solely because in the comics, the Juggernaut was able to defeat the demon god who gave him his power in battle, a feat Thanos proved couldn't do, making Juggernaut a stronger foe than Thanos, the version of the character in the MCU of course. As I said before, a fraction of the creature's power was able to neutralize the Mad Titan. He was bound to the ground, and he was unable to rip through crimson bands of Sidorex. Now, this strength comparison is not entirely right to be compared. Seeing how the two are from completely different scenarios, it is still something to be brought to question regarding the Juggernaut's power, when or if he appears in the MCU, right? The evidence given in the MCU of Thanos' power level in relation to the Juggernaut's most impressive victory. Juggernaut's power could be through the roof when we first see him in the near future. To give you an idea of the capabilities of the Juggernaut, even without smashing the subscribe button or ringing the notification bell, or rather, I should say, without unlocking the complete access to the gym to become Tryon Juggernaut, I am going to name some of the skills that he has in his arsenal that make this unstoppable force with incredible strength and speed, and he never tires. One of the most powerful foes the MCU could see in the near future outside of Doctor Doom and King the Conqueror, of course. He is able to create an unlimited amount of kinetic energy, and once he is in motion, he is practically unstoppable. And this is where the nickname The Unstoppable Juggernaut comes from. One of the main things about the Juggernaut is his super strength, which proved to be a powerful weapon, as he was able to best Thor in a battle, and came very close to doing the same thing to Hulk as well. And his strength being able to cause earthquakes of great magnitude, by smashing his foes in the ground. Yeah, that is just how powerful of a brute he is. Outside of these two, one of Juggernaut's most impressive qualities would be his durability. He cannot be harmed by any physical weapon and was able to withstand blows from Thor himself, a literal god. And together with his durability, along comes his stamina, as the energy from the Gem of Sidorak flows through him, enabling him to live his life without oxygen, food, or water to survive. Meaning, he has unlimited stamina. He can practically keep his unstoppable body in motion forever, as he does not suffer from fatigue or having the need to replenish his energy. The guy is also pretty fast for a human of his size, who is around 10 feet tall and weighs close to 2,000 pounds. He has the ability of superhuman speed, with his huge legs being able to carry his frame as fast as 600 miles per hour, which essentially gives him the ability to turn his body into a weapon of mass destruction and once he gets going, there is no stopping him. Just stay out of the way. And I almost forgot, on top of everything, he also has a healing factor that matches the likes of Wolverine. See you in the next video.